Sometimes when we are trying to decide what to do in our life, uh, like should I do this, should I do that, should, what, what should I say to this person and all that, and it can get really confusing. I find one way to clarify uh, is to ask yourself, if I were watching this on screen in a movie theatre, right, and if I were the hero in the story, how would I want this hero to behave? How would I want this person to speak? What would I want them to do? I find that always makes things very, very clear. Because we all know the kind of stories that we want to watch in the movies. And that should actually tell us what is the kind of story we want to live. If you think you would be really happy to watch that guy on screen like take his $10,000 and give it to the poor rather than spend it on like, I don't know, a Gucci bag or something, then you should think, yeah, I think I'd rather live that kind of story than this kind of story. I talk to a lot of students and one question that comes to their mind all the time is, I have to choose between idealism and pragmatism. Which one do I choose? Which way do I go? Uh, I think that is a false choice. Uh, if you're 100% pragmatism without a single drop of idealism, you're basically a dead human being, right? Life is just not fun. Um, but if you're 100% idealism without any pragmatism of sorts, you don't achieve anything. You're just like fluffy, all talk, right? All care bear talk, right? So I find that uh, life gets really, really interesting and things start to happen when you're willing to be in the middle. You are willing to be in tension in between idealism in, in, between, in idealism and pragmatism. And when you're there, you're thinking, um, how can I make the things that I really love work? Uh, how can I find a way to uh, how can I find a way to make money out of the things that I really, really want to do? And that actually is when you start becoming really innovative, really, really creative. And I would love to see more people doing that, being practically idealistic.